What's going on, you guys? Kenny here, also known as SolidFan85. Welcome to another vlog, hopefully a quick vlog, uh, talking to you about my TALTS treatment. Um, quick note, because I am a content creator, just let you know I'm not being paid to tell you about this. Uh, this is just a personal, personal insight, personal experience I'm sharing. I just hit the camera. Um, and I wanted to keep you guys updated on how it's going. And just a little breakdown of what's happened so far. So to start out, I took my first two doses of TALT, which is the beginning uh, part of the regiment for the treatment, uh, about two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Uh, now, two weeks later, I was supposed to be receiving an additional dose of one, one shot, and then I take one shot every two weeks for 12 weeks, and then it goes to one shot a month. That's not what happened. Uh, there was actually a delay in the delivery for the second shot. Contacted the dermatologist. Let them know what's going on. Just to tell them I haven't gotten it yet. So essentially, I had to restart. So two and a half weeks later, today, I had to take two more shots of these things. And uh, I had a little mishap. Because <laughs> a little bit of an episode. Um... I didn't keep the syringe in long enough, and some of the stuff came splashing out. So, uh, just to break down, this is the end with the needle. You press this button, it auto injects. Uh, you hold it in for about 10 seconds, it stings. Um, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to needles at all. I hate needles, but got to do it. Um, and you hold it in for 10 seconds, it clicks. You can take it out. Um, but the first shot, it didn't go all the way in. I didn't get all the liquid out. So, um, I had to contact a pharmacist or nurse, uh, call the, you know, I called the uh, hotline, talked to somebody. He was a pharmacist, told him what happened. Uh, he said I should be fine. Just go ahead and take the secondary shot and continue on as usual. So, um, I take another shot here in two weeks. And I do have some results to report. I'm also going to give you guys a brief slideshow. Uh, but before I go into that, I just wanted to break down what has happened um, and how I'm not used to shots like this. Okay, I'm not used to this. I'm 34. Uh, this is the first time in my life that I have got to take um, shots out of a syringe like this. Now, it's nothing new because certain parts of my family actually deal with diabetes and insulin shots and all that. So I've seen it, but I've never had to personally do it. And it causes me some anxiety to have to inject my body with stuff like this. But it's got to be done because for 15 years, I've dealt with psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, and psoriatic arthritis, which has kicked in hardcore the last few years. Um, and it's not fun. But with that said, we get on to the slideshow. Um, some of these, the lighting on these is not professional. These were taken with my phone at certain points in the last month or so, so bear with me. Um, these are not professional shots, but I wanted to share them with you. So first off, this is me on a not one of my worst flare-up days with the facial psoriasis, but you can see the spots. Uh, you can see the flaking around my eyes. You can see it around my face, around my nose. Um, that's essentially what I look like. On a, on a relatively bad flare-up day, but again, not my worst. Um, it is in my beard. I do flake. I used to flake a lot whenever I go like this, or I brush like this. I would have things fall out. Not so much anymore. Um, and I'll, I'm going to be proud of that here in a moment. One picture. I'll show you what it is. But this is um, just essentially what, what it was like for me. You know, it's, um, it's not easy. And it, it plays mental mind games with you. It causes social anxiety. Uh, you flake left and right. You kind of put yourself into prison because you don't. You have a lot of days where you don't want to go out. Uh, people look at you. They wonder what's wrong with you. They'll ask you. You have to explain it because not everybody is schooled on psoriasis and what it is. Uh, for 15 years, it's pretty much been a part of 25% of my body mass. It's not easy, um, and it has caused some discomfort. It's caused again anxiety. It's caused situations that I would have rather avoided. I avoided eye contact. Um, I didn't want to look at people. I just went on with my life. I just, you know, so on and so forth. But with that said, um, it has, it's been crazy, but it's also added some character to me. It's helped me grow the beard because my psoriasis, it took up a good portion of this part of my face. It's, it's on my neckline. 
Um, so that's why I grew the beard because I really I didn't want to look at it on a daily basis. And it turns out I like having a beard. I like my beard. I got a pretty good beard. So um, it worked out in that way. But overall, for the last 15 years with the, uh, psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, and psoriatic arthritis, um, it's been pretty painful mentally and physically at times. So it's been crazy. But recent shots, and I shared some of these on social media, this is me in a black shirt. I did a video on this uh, a few days ago about wearing black clothes. A lot of people don't understand that. But if you have lived with psoriasis as long as I have, especially untreated and the flaking, this is what you can look forward to when you have your good days on treatment. And I look pretty dapper right here. I must say so myself. <laughs> but I, I'm really proud of this because there's no flakes. That's lint on the collar. That's lint on the collar. But it's fantastic. Look at my face. Look at my neckline. You can still see some red in there, uh, especially on the beard line, like right here. But it's fantastic, man. And I, you know, it, it makes me feel good to see this. Uh, one last shot. This is um, this is me in the car. This is a better shot. This is a better lighting. Again, not professional shots taken on my phone. And um, I got some pretty smooth skin. Again, you can still see some of the red in there. But it's not nearly as not nearly as bad as it was. And again, I'm only so far into this treatment. So after 12 weeks, I'll see where I'm at. I'll keep you guys updated on this. But it's just it's been fantastic, and I wanted to take some time and update you guys on it. So hopefully this wasn't too long, wasn't too boring. This is a journey in my life. I wanted to share it with you guys because that's what I do here on the channel, and that's what this vlog was about. Uh, if you're curious about psoriasis or if you don't know a whole lot about it, I'll put a link down below. You can check it out. There are also other content creators over the past couple of years that have used the Taltz treatment or Humira or stuff like that. Um, actually, is Humira a treatment? I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. But there are other treatments out there. Taltz is the first biologic treatment I've used. Uh, over the years, I've used certain um, creams and stuff like that, hydrocortisone, different things to that extent. And it's helped, but not nearly as much as I'm seeing now. And I'm only so far into the treatment. I can't wait to see what comes next. I do get a little bit of anxiety thinking about the shots and the sting of the shot. I'm not used to it. I gotta pretty much do this for the rest of my life because of how bad um, my case is. Because it went untreated for so long. Um, because I couldn't afford it at most for most of my life. But I am in a, in a state to where I can finally do that. The cost is doable um, with insurance um, overall from what I'm seeing so it's definitely helpful but it's definitely a factor and it's a factor in everyday life when it comes to the medical stuff um, but I'm not gonna get into that that's a whole different a whole different subject but right now I'm liking it I'm liking myself I've always liked myself but I've always had a bit of an ego but this is this just further helps me improve um, my social life it helps me further improve wearing clothes, my fashion sense a little bit more with some dark clothing. I can wear more shirts now. I don't have to worry about flakes and so on and so forth. So overall, less flaking, less itching, all kinds of stuff. And so I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Remember, you're awesome. Never let the world see otherwise. Um, I tried to get everything I could think of into this video. I might have missed a few things. If so, I'll put it down below in a comment or something. I'll go from there. So remember, you're awesome. Never let the world see otherwise. See ya.